Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I know, I know to me we crazy podcast guys and we apologize kabisa. But um, so welcome. Uh, today I'm joined with my lovely crew, my lovely people, my lovely gang gang. I'll just let them introduce themselves and then we'll get right on to the topic. You know how we do here, eh? Yes, sir. Ladies first. What's up, good people? How you doing? Mambo Vipi, my name is Esther Mumbe or MC Mumbe and it's hey. my first time being here. I can't wait to just have a chit chat with these amazing people and have a good time. Yay! <laughs> you notice like kila intro ako na samanga. What's up, Mambo Vipi? Yeah, it's it's my slogan. Venye mkuru na kuaga. So yeah. hi guys, <laughs> what up, what up? It's me again. Um, I'm from Nigeria from like a distance. My name is Don, and you're welcome. So glad you're here. I hope you enjoy the topic we have today for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, the topic today is moral. It's um fire challenging each and every aspect of our lives but um we are here for it sindio guys yes sir um so basically today we are going to be talking about the power of words and how mm-hmm. we should all individually take that initiative to be alert of of what we say and how we speak to other people mm-hmm. especially to people who are younger than us yeah. especially to people who are older than us and even to ourselves by the mm-hmm. way you know there's that time where uneza get into a negative space mm-hmm. and then all you're talking to yourself is negative talk here and there mm-hmm. like you just can't you know come out of it Cindy. yeah so i'll i'll want to start maybe with mumbi because Mumbe, because ladies first, and tell us what do you think about now the power of words? Okay, um, um, so I'd say what I think about the power of words, I'd say it's everything to do with life mm-hmm. because, first and foremost, everything that is uh, everything that we see was created through words, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, God said, Let there be, and there was, oh, yeah, yeah, so everything that is in existence was created through words. Mm. So the the people that we turn out to be words literally. Facts. You know the, the Bible says um the spirit of God was over in then then uh, God said let there be, mm-hmm. you know. So the spirit of God was over in. The spirit of God was over in, but uh, there wasn't anything that was in existence mm-hmm. until he spoke. Mm-hmm. So meaning you can be someone full of the Holy Spirit but you never speak. So yeah. nothing will happen in your life. Mm, facts, yeah. So wow. once you have the Holy Spirit in you mm-hmm. but now you're speaking. Mm-hmm. Now it will manifest. So that's how much there is power in words. Preach. Yeah. Hey, Hallelujah. MC Mumbe guys. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to share with you. Nadra uko nayo ina overload. Eh? Father Please. Lord. <laughs> feel me, feel me. So I mean, I literally feel like in the first place, mm-hmm. where do words come from? Mm-hmm. Like your mouth. Mm-hmm. So I mean, do you watch your mouth when mm-hmm. you speak? Mm-hmm. Do you like do you like think before you speak? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I feel like words mm-hmm. are of great impact because mm-hmm. words sometimes make you who you are. Mm-hmm. You know, because the words that you listen, nikama sa ni kiamda kusema oh. Kiki kwa light skin mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. that is literally making you mm-hmm. go to the mirror mm-hmm. look at yourself and you're like oh yeah you know that's mm-hmm. how heavy word is mm-hmm. like uh, yeah. what i'm trying to say yeah. and i feel like us as young people in christ mm-hmm. we need to be assertive of the words that you hear mm-hmm. and most importantly you know whose word you need to hear the most yeah, yeah. you know papa also normally says that the the ear the person that you give your ear to mm-hmm. is the one that dictates your life oh, like, yeah, word. their words have impact over you as much life. as you're like and also it adds to the circle that you keep mm-hmm. and what do they even talk about yeah, you know yeah. even as a christian domana like pastor arnold and pastor nicholas they normally tell us it's very hard for you to be a christian mm-hmm. and 
be with non-Christian friends. Yeah. Yeah. True. Because whatever they are saying is what is impacting your in life. your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Whatever they are doing is what they're impacting your life. As in utakata mpaka lini. Like you can only say no so many times, you yeah. know. Yeah. So, yeah. Guarding your heart with all diligence. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, kabisa. Yeah, sure. So, like guys, what do you, why do you think like words have such a powerful effect as you've all seen? Um I guess it will just draw back to my point again <laughs> because it's all that we have been given to create mm-hmm. yeah. you know it's all that God gave us to create we create with words because I mean people get married because they said something to each other Ooh. you know I love you Amo. honey yeah put a ring on it <laughs> w- wataangaliana w- w- wakiangaliana na hiyo story ishi hapo mm-hmm. nothing else will come out from there yeah. but wakiangaliana na waanze ku engage in words you know i love you da da da, da you're beautiful ni mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that is how emotions start coming up and you start getting attracted to someone di, 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 and that is how we get babies and families is in we've create everything in words yeah. for yeah. you to be employed mm-hmm. you have to go for an interview mm-hmm. they listen you they ask questions you they answer listen. words like words is everything that we have mm-hmm. to create mm-hmm. you know eh ndio maana tunaambia kwa life and death lies in the tank yeah mm-hmm. exactly so if you you just wanna die go to kwa tank if you just wanna live you go to kwa <laughs> tank it's yeah, simple as that yeah. yeah yeah i feel like word is something it's like the best line of communication yeah. like mm-hmm. it's everything mm-hmm. like imagine man what is such a very thoughtful sindio yeah <laughs> sana cuz cuz god was like let there be light mm-hmm. and there was light the, just like, like that yeah. imagine yeah let there be and there was there was so like what is something that people need to be really considerate about yeah and i feel like it's very impactful it is on people yeah. and i had a question like how do you make sure like your words mm-hmm. impact people mm-hmm. positively mm-hmm. or like negatively mm-hmm. how do you make sure mm-hmm. that it impacts people mm-hmm. yeah. i'd say speaking the right things you know especially us ladies we really take words very personally yeah very like words na kwa personal sana zina kwa personal sa i mean ladies ladies okay okay finish finish what you say say ma tu say ma tu ladies ladies Choma. ladies here here words uh-huh. and then whatever i'm saying mm-hmm. it's not what they hear <laughs> not really am i, I lying no well no, like, depends but i think depends. it's selective hearing for everyone yes. you know in the heat of the moment like when you're telling me something <laughs> and like <laughs> me i'm already like my mind is already set like yeah. this person is Yeah, like this yeah. whatever you are telling me i've yeah. already made the judgment so That's i'll only true. hear the words that i want to hear yes. not what you're telling me yeah. and But it's for everyone it's true. not just for ladies true, true. 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 so, so <laughs> what, what i can say is uh, we can use our words to just encourage other people mm-hmm. because you can break someone na words unaweza pata mse ame work on their self esteem and everything they're doing good actually it, financially spiritually yeah. but you just say something negative and i will throw off mbaya check your kichwa exactly na kichwa kiko tu fiti wallahi na you throw off vibaya sana ndio shaitu siwa nani aje tu siwa like what's the most and you shake could bring down uh, like adi, like ukalia let me use that ukalia no not really ni kalia kulialia kwangu iko agio vyo vyo like you're so strong witted this is strong maze hii maisha imefanya nimekuwa tu gangster You know. Uh-huh. I may shut up if I didn't make what gangster. Sikulia really, but mm-hmm. it really interfered with my self esteem. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like being told you're not good enough, you know, being compared, especially when sometimes men start comparing women with oh, other yeah. women. You know, ndio mapata kama dem wana bleach, madem oh. wanaongezea ass, madem, you know, mm-hmm. vitu hata aziko just because at some point they were told they're not good enough. Yeah. Nani words to ama waka comp- pay wana mse fulani unga mbona una kwa gam super lakini ushe yona Karen wewe yo dem ana kwa gam weza so unaangalia Karen ni nini hiyo ako nao sina hapana unaanza kutafuta hiyo kitu na kwanga kama zile za manze Karen ni mrembo kukuliko ndio hiyo unajua kiambia ati Karen ni msupa but umecheck yesterday uwi so you know yo at least na kwa Karen hiyo so i just be like eh hey, esta mm-hmm. Karen ni mrembo kukuliko mse ushe ona ushe ushe ona Karen kweli mazi 
I mean, that's what puts people down. Yeah, that is bad. And actually, this is something I want to say to men who are watching and even you. Like, be very sensitive when you're speaking to girls, especially young girls. Yeah. Because when you're young girls, they're in a space where they're still trying to know themselves. Yeah. You know, you to your space, yeah, could you discover and all that. And they're very fragile mm-hmm. at that point. So when you're not sensitive... Oh my goodness, utamaliza msichana wa mtu. Yeah. And that is why we, f- we 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 have so many desperate women out there trying yeah. to prove a point because wana feel worth yao. Aiko wanaanza ku prove a point yeah. by being sexual, you know, exposing yeah. boobies, yeah. twerking on social media yeah. because wanataka your attention because mm-hmm. who they are naturally without having the extra kind of attention, mm-hmm. they feel they're not good enough because probably they were told so or they were not treated right, they were in a yeah. relationship, they were cheated on. Unajua, the problem with cheating actually, eh, huku ni wapi sasa tunaenda? The problem with cheating. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> the problem with cheating is that uh, when 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 someone when I'm dating some uh, I'm not to use that kind of example words 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 so <laughs> <laughs> when people are dating and to moja tell me the lady the guy a cheat mm-hmm. sindo the problem is not the lady mm-hmm. the problem is the guy akona tu shida zake why is he cheating in a relation in a relationship mm-hmm. but in this context utapata dem ndio ame feel makosa ni yake probably i'm not good enough that is why he's cheating, he's cheating. you know but why are you always like si ni mkupea kila kitu nini ni sina exactly unaona kwa kwa sababu unafanya tusikia tuko good enough unaona so that's why I, w- i was saying like be very careful be very careful around ladies i always say men are the blueprint of this world so once men do the right things mm-hmm. women tutaingia tu yeah. automatically. yes tutaingia automatically so once once men actually try to man up and try to be sensitive and try to use their words well towards women they will build women mm-hmm. you know and the society will become right. a better place but yeah. the people who we look up to mm-hmm. the people who maze unajua nakwambia jamaa kikwambia nakupenda karen Ukiambu okay, unapendwa na jamaa wako kuna venye ina hitting different sana yeah. kuliko babako akikwambia Unajua Ra- sound effect yeah. you know, kuliko babako akikushow you know so men what what men say to women inakuwa gana so much impact Yo for real yeah, yeah. sana 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 yeah. in fact if, especially like if if like it's a guy that you actually like yeah yeah inakuwa gana <laughs> impact probably mtu ameshinda kuambia you know wewe si msupu wewe si msupa lakini upate tu chali moja uwa na kujenga okay. affirmations Yeah. Ina kujanganga. Mbaya, yani unaona gasa wewe ni msupa yeah, kuruka. Na kuna kitu umechange power of words. Yeah. Wow. So I've answered your question yeah. but nimeenda huko na nikarudi. Umeendo use your words, <laughs> use your words to make Where, someone better. What do you think? Yeah. About words. Yeah. Like I'd, I'd actually agree with her like you have the power in your tongue yeah in your tongue to actually you can either build someone or you can break someone in with your tongue. word okay. because that's why like i normally i have like a small cousin and how i was raised like it's so different than how i want her to grow up she's mm-hmm. actually in high school right now mm-hmm. how i was raised i was raised to like look for you know like validation mm-hmm. from outside oh, but okay. now when i speak to her and i hear her saying such things i'm like no mama you can't speak like that to you <coughs> because i want her to grow up to become different yeah, yeah. that sure. her validation comes from within like i am enough yeah. it doesn't matter what esther does to me it yes. doesn't matter what does yes. don does to me yeah. i am enough regardless yes yeah. yes that is very important yeah. actually and i think like we all have a responsibility not only to like our family members mm-hmm but also to like other people outside and especially like children yeah. that's why like i'm so sensitive mm-hmm. when speaking to children mm-hmm. you know because yeah. children they you know how you can just um as adults we have that uh selective choice like we can hear something i'll have yeah. to go like ah, i can pick this one and this one Yeah, sure. yeah. children they internalize it mm-hmm. and they sure. manifest it as they grow up mm-hmm. so whatever you speak to your child like when you are telling your child ah wewe una kwani una kwanga fala aje atajibeba kama fala true kabisa yeah. yeah that's why i'm normally sensitive especially with children mm-hmm. and people who are younger than me mm-hmm. i don't like even if i'm angry na hapo kwa anga ndio inakuanga mbaya cuz yeah, unajua kwa anga ndio you say it. <laughs> yeah. that's why i i would actually prefer i like people who when they're angry they take time to mm-hmm. like okay mm-hmm. let me remove myself from this situation yeah. other than 
let's go yeah and then i feel like in in as much as people say a lot of things about you it depends with how you mm-hmm. want to take the word mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. because it's not everything that you hear you know cuz mimi nakumbuka kitoka high school kuna mbiyonga eh mwalimu what hapa ni wapi you know mm-hmm. in the yeah. sense like mwalimu akwambia wao wasumboanga kuna maliuta eh exactly but yeah. now like look at me right now yeah. it depends on how yeah. you want to hear the word mm-hmm. and how you're gonna take it yeah. you know yeah. i mean i feel like it's so important because in as much as you speak to people what do you want to say like before you talk to someone mm-hmm. think about it like be slow to speak mm-hmm. you know yeah. like when you want to say something yeah. like say it to yourself first mm-hmm. because you know what you say what you say to yourself mm-hmm. you'll not want someone to say it to you to you yeah is it true sure yeah i mean that's me what i think before i tell you something mm-hmm. you'll find like nimes look yeah see before mm-hmm. i say something because mm-hmm. i know whatever i want to say might be impactful mm-hmm. to you mm-hmm. either positive or negative but yeah. mostly I want I want it to be like positive yeah. Yeah. you know and that brings me to a question like how do you make sure like your words impact others to me nisha sema like be slow to speak oh yeah. how do you make sure your words like impact yeah. others yeah. By speaking life speak the positive things about them affirm affirmations connect in real nilikuwa na watch asubuhi that men do well married men do well um, if their wives affirm them ukiangalia jamaa anaendelea fit that's true yeah jamaa anaendelea fit when you smile my maze very true na tunajua uko singles sasa relax me me you wish bro so <laughs> So, what? Fire, you want you want to come oh, out with your no. words, right? Na mimi ndio nasema watu wangea positive. Oh my god. Do you know how it's impacting me? 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 Guys, sorry to. Anyway, so uh-huh. um um being single it's a blessing. Use it well. We talked about it on the last episode if you've not watched it you can go watch it. Mm. Yeah so yeah. what was I even say? Yeah affirmations mm-hmm. like uh alikuwa anasema marriages mingi zinaendelea fit especially the men mm-hmm. unapata um, ma- the wives affirm mm. them a lot. But I feel like affirmation is more like a love language to some people individually. Yeah but it's not needed for everyone. 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 It's mm. needed. It's like, needed would you for really everyone. Be in a relationship with someone who doesn't even like tell you like God, you, you can do you, this, you like, can do this you're the best hata ukidunda ukidunda na kuambia i know you gave your best yeah. kuna next time is it the end of yeah. life anaza wapatia meds you know yeah, yeah. such mm-hmm. things mm-hmm. unataka mtu love language yake pekee ni gifts <laughs> eh hey, kwa hiyo ina depend ni mimi na gift ama ni yana ni gift yeye ndio anapenda kugiftiwa balance okay 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 me i feel like everyone should have affirmation as the love language yes lover. yes yes real. everyone should What's your love Because language? Because affirmations ndio ya kwanza. Mimi tu ni choche na words mtu wangu. Ah. I know it is. Mimi tu ni choche na words. Choche tu na words utashangaa. I will do exploits. Oh, and greater abadans. <laughs> na kuambia ataka ni uongo. Eh, hey, okay, usiniambie mazina pena venye umejaa vera kando. Hiyo ni sasa ni uongo. <laughs> Oh my god. Niambie farm. Niambie tu kwa farm. Niambie farm. Niambie tu eh hii petiti yako unanimaliza kitu ka hiyo. You it make exactly. Vitu kama hizo. Si vitu zikao out of context. So like you're heavy on affirmation. No wonder you're like so. Very. Thank you for allowing yourself to come in this podcast because this one was for you too yeah. timely with thank god the name of jesus with thank god yeah. <laughs> and you your love language i hey, my love language affirmation of course <gasps> almost ah! all ladies actually <laughs> almost all ladies. Um, all ladies yeah yeah for me it's words of affirmation and i don't i don't like i don't think gifts do a lot for me but like physical touch as well oh, but then touch. It, but then for me like it depends like who is touching that yeah thing. like me i don't like just anybody touch 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 you. <laughs> don't touch me don't touch me, don't touch touch me. me. i say it's and the same time. for me actually and time. affirmations 
touch. Quality time. Yeah, and quality time. Same, and quality time. Yeah. Then gifts and work, what kind of services in Akuja Mwisho. When yeah. I draw a service, I'm going to go to Akuja Mwisho. I'm going to go to Oh, affirmation. No, quality time. Because and during the time, we'll be talking. Uh-huh. Words, uh-huh. You'll be affirming each other. Yeah. I'll be affirming you. <laughs> I mean, I feel like affirming comes uh-huh. naturally for the men. Uh-huh. I know the boys agree with me because uh-huh. before I even come to approach you, uh-huh. I mean, I need to affirm myself. Yeah. And then I come affirming. Yeah. I'm like, Ooh. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, this is someone I can. Yeah, sure. You know, like yeah. walk, walk, walk with her anywhere. Yeah. And be like, guys. Meet mamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my mamas. You know. <laughs> And I feel like it's so important because yeah. imagine pia kuna words zenye zina zio happen kama ukiwa mdogo wakati mzazi wako anaweza kulaani. Mm. Shey laani yo. I know. For real. Oh, mm-hmm. y'all are the like cute babies. I know. Like we do things naturally. Mean shey laani or what live. Yeah, kuna mali inaweza fika. Wala is ndio. Kuna laani hata kwa business na semanga zi make sense. Kuna mali zinaenda. Kama haina value. Hakuna. So yeah, alikuwa tuna bitterness tu zake akakama katole ya mtu huyu. Sasa surely. Atikemi. Si asomeshe na mind their own business. What, what is? Afanye kazi yake. Probably alikuwa chuo. Na move on. Yeah. Mm. Because, I mean, why would you teach on them? And that is very wrong, let me tell you. That mm-hmm. is very wrong because unapata hiyo time mtu hindi wana grow. Mm-hmm. So, whatever you say to that child, ndo ita ingia. Yeah. Na we ni mwalimu, we ni mtu, they're looking up to. Mm-hmm. So, I, I find it so wrong. And mm-hmm. wase wengi wa mefanyiwe hivyo na mamode. Mm-hmm. Mwalimu tu, kama uperform kwa subject yake, anakuambia anything. Longa mbaa. Exactly. We, anateko perform mao, na we, we, we ni mse artistic mbaya. Mm-hmm. Unacheki, mtu ingia na sangapi. Mm-hmm. You know. I mean, no, I mean I feel like CBC in fit too. Eh, CBC iko fit by the Because like you get to know what this child like. Yeah. Si force him say na chemistry na fit. Maths. Unapata wao mtu hawa toiki tambua kwa sasa all dads. Watakuwa whatever they they are good at imeenda kuenda. You know. Si sasa sasa hii uko 20 ndio unaendelea kufikiria what am I even good at? It's too late bwana. Usha usha pataka age ulipigwa pigo ukasoma ukaanza kufanya engineering. Sasa hiyo wewe ni drama. Ma soup after soup. Imagine. After soup after soup. <laughs> Na ukikaa chini tena soup. <laughs> soup. Sasa hiyo wewe ni mchoraji no, unapenda tu kuchora. <laughs> soup. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini msa kikupea a piece of paper unafanya mambo. Yeah, I feel like the world is say it's more of skills. Yeah, it but it's more of skills. And how you talk. It like, is. It, it is more of skills. Yeah, somebody somebody was saying being employed hiyo salary ni kitu ya kukufanya you yeah. will never move. move Kwa sababu every time utakunona this okay, this is This is helping me at least mm-hmm. pay whatever bills mm-hmm. I need to pay and you will never come out of that comfort zone it's a comfort zone yeah, for sure. you'll never come out of that comfort zone actually find yourself you know yeah. and alikuwa uh, anasema wealth akuna there is no wealthy man who became wealthy out of being employed, yeah, being employed it's when you sure. come out of that cocoon and find yourself yes, and start making money from your skills from your gifts mm-hmm. and when your body nasema your gifts will make room for you mm-hmm. then you allow yourself like the rooms that god will make for you na unajituma kujituma mtu wangu yeah yeah back to you how are you feeling what's that <laughs> you feeling what <worse. laughs> i mean me too I mean I'm just thinking about this thing word mm-hmm. like, such a short word but it really means yeah, yeah. Carries everything yeah, it carries know? a lot of power because it's it's the name like the word love yeah you know think about love a very short kawad but me, it's everything more man feel ni kama like ingekuwa inaitwa kitu kingine ref yeah, like kitu kingine complex because yeah. love is such a complex thing yeah it but, is as in like <laughs> I love you queen it like tuka his stool. Mesopotamia. Your love. You know it's your new stool. But now you're not here for love, we're yeah. here for words. For words, yeah. And I feel like okay, there's this thing I I feel like I need to ask you guys. Mm-hmm. Cuz your girls mm-hmm. and it really concerns you. Mm-hmm. Like gossip. Mhm. See gossip ni word. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kamoshene. Mo- hey, kamoshene. Who does that? Eh, hey, kamoshene you know. wale kwa legit. Why 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 is it like, easy to gossip? Let me tell you. It's moshene. It's moshene when like with your person. Oh, what I've, do you mean your person? Someone you're dating. Na probably mna no. mko na to mutual friends. Hivyo si ndo ramanisha. 
not even like you know yeah. okay there's the, it's, 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 so cool. it's, like so a, it's like a real no a real i saw sometime but you know real money tweet uh-huh. i saw uh-huh. like like um say na semeti gossip it's different when you're gossiping with your person like when you are See, that is what work. i was meaning god could be your person Exactly. So utakalisha god chini u gossip don. Z you just like eh. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> z z z you just like eh hey, manze god manze umecheki wiki. Umecheki Vladimir me move. Eh hey, your design. <laughs> no but I-